Hi guys, it's Mrs. Henry. Um, I've got a book for you today, Dance at Grandpa's. And this is actually uh, what they call an excerpt. And you've probably read excerpts before, maybe you didn't even know what it was, but that means there's a chapter book, Laura Ingalls Wilder, Little House in the Big Woods. Um, and this is just a little piece of that chapter book. They took part of the story out and made a little book out of it. So if you want to read more about Laura Ingalls Wilder and her life, this is based on her life. It's a true story. Um, you could read the Little House series. So here we have Dance at Grandpa's um, Little House in the Big Woods series. And it's written by Laura Ingalls Wilder, who it's actually about. So this is a book she wrote about things that happened to her when she was growing up in the Big Woods. Once upon a time, a little girl named Laura lived in the big woods of Wisconsin in a little house made of logs. She lived there with her pa, her ma, her big sister Mary, her baby sister Carrie, and their good old bulldog Jack. One winter morning, everyone got up early for there was going to be a big party at Grandpa's house. While Laura and Mary ate their breakfast, Pa packed his fiddle carefully in its box and put it in the big sled waiting by the gate. The air was frosty cold, but Laura, Mary, Carrie, and Ma were tucked in snug and warm under robes in the sled. The horses pranced, the slave bells rang merrily, and they went off through the big woods to Grandpa's house. It did not seem long before they were sweeping into the clearing at Grandpa's house. Grandma stood at the door smiling and calling them to come in. Laura loved Grandma's big house. It was fun to run from the fireplace at one end of the big room all the way to Grandma's soft feather bed on the other side. The whole house smelled good. There were sweet and spicy smells coming from the kitchen and the smell of hickory logs burning with bright clear flames in the fireplace. Before long, it was time to get ready for the party. Laura watched while Ma and the aunts made themselves pretty. They combed their long hair and put on their best dresses. Laura thought Ma was the most beautiful of all in her green ruffled dress. Soon, people began to come to the party. They came on foot through the woods with their lanterns, and they came in sleds and wagons, sleigh bells jingling all the time. The big room was filled with tall boots and swishing skirts, and there were ever so many babies lying in rows on Grandma's feathered bed. Laura thought baby Carrie was the prettiest. Then Pa took out his fiddle and began to play. All the skirts began to swirl and all the boots began to stamp. Swing your partners, Paul called. Laura watched Ma's skirt swaying and her dark head bowing and thought she was the loveliest dancer in the world. Soon it was time for dinner. The long table was loaded with pumpkin pies, dried berry pies, and cookies. There was cold boiled pork and salt rising bread. How sour the pickles were! They all ate until they could eat no more. The fiddling and dancing went on and on until it was time for Laura and the other children to go to bed. When Laura woke up, it was morning. 
There were pancakes and maple syrup for breakfast, and then Pa brought the horses and sled to the door. Pa tucked Laura and Mary and Carrie and mine to the sled. Grandma and Grandpa stood calling goodbye, goodbye, as they rode away into the big woods going home. What a wonderful party it had been. So that was Dance at Grandpa's. And that's fun. It's nice to read about families and them getting together, doing fun things, spending time together, because that's not really something we can do right now. But soon enough, we'll be back together with our families, and I'm sure everyone will be having big parties. So I hope you have a great day. Um, if you want more information about Laura Ingalls Wilder or Little House in the Big Woods and those books, feel free to comment below, and I can get that for you.